Beckham fights makes in. He leaves with the right hand. Down he goes. I don't think you'll get up from this. Mike Spence is laying flat on his back. The count is up to five. And six. And seven. And eight. He won't be able to do it. It's all over. Mike Tyson has won it. Jamie Foxx getting ready to play Mike Tyson, my long lost cousin. Take a look at this, Larry, and then we're going to discuss it. I think when we lay the layers on, on Mike Tyson in this story, um, I think everybody from young and old will be able to understand this man's journey. Jamie's been training hard and bulking up as he prepares to play Tyson. He recently posted these pics of his shredded new physique on Instagram. Every other day, I do 60 pull-ups. We do 60 dips. We do 100 push-ups. Jamie's been talking to us about doing a biopic on since 2015, where he gave us a quick glimpse of how he'll be playing Iron Mike. I think you shouldn't impersonate. The impersonation is, hi, I'm Mike Tyson. Welcome to Mike, Mike Tyson. Hey, Mike. That's the impersonation. The real Mike is this. I'll put, how are you doing, my brother? To do the impersonation would sink you. It's just like with Ray Charles. I said, hey, I really want to do you. I want to do you right. He said, hey, you know what? If you can do the blues, man, you can do it all. If anyone knows what it takes to transform into a real-life character, it's Jamie. 2005, he won the Oscar for his portrayal of Ray Charles. This really is a dream, and it's an uh, unexpected dream come true. Jamie told us about his first meeting with the champ. He was 21 years old doing stand-up when he noticed his jokes about Tyson weren't landing with the audience. I get to that joke, and when I get to the joke, nobody laughs. And a dude who I'm friends with still today yell out, your mic is in here. <laughs> I came out to you, you go ahead, you do it, but it better be funny. <laughs> and that's how I met him. That's true. <laughs> I'm, I'm, that is so true. And so I do the joke, get a standing ovation, he comes up, come hang out with me. I want you to hang out with me. As Tyson's friend, Jamie has had a very unique perspective. He's seen Mike at the height of his fame and at his most humble after losing his $300 million fortune. That's it. How you doing, Mike? Oh, I'll pray this to Allah, my brother. I'm happy. I said, why? Because I don't have any money anymore. So nobody can take anything from me anymore. So I'm happy because there was a lot of vultures. Huh. Yeah, man. So let me say this. It seems like Jamie Foxx is underrated, even though I know he's an Oscar winner, a Grammy winner, talent yeah. in all kinds of things. To me, sometimes I feel like he doesn't get the recognition he deserves. This man can sing. This man can act. This man can tell jokes. This man can hold up a a concert all by himself. So yeah. on the strength of that, and then me knowing some of the minute details of what Mike Tyson went through, you know, some of us might have forgotten about the Robin Gibbons issue. Some of us might have forgotten about how him and his manager broke up because his manager basically stripped that man of all his money, his integrity, and some other issues. And then there were some drugs. So I am very interested to see this and we know Jamie Foxx is going to knock it out the park. I mean, we yeah. have no question about that. So, Larry, are you looking forward to the Jamie Foxx play a Mike Tyson biopic? I am. The only the only thing I'm a little hesitant about it is that Jamie Foxx is a bit old, man. I mean, he doesn't look old, which may be something that helps. But Jamie Foxx is 50 plus <laughs> years old. Mm -hmm. And when Mike Tyson became the heavyweight champ, dude was only, I think, 18, 19. I mean, he was a very, very young man. I mean, he was barely into adulthood. And if they're starting back that far, which I mean, I mean, if you're telling the Mike Tyson story, you can't, you can't help but start back that far. I mean, that is, that is really when his story became relevant to the public when he became that the youngest heavyweight champion of all times. And so that's my only concern about Jamie Foxx playing that character, you know, playing Tyson, is that he's a little bit old for it. But, you know, Hollywood and their special effects, they do some really wonderful things to, to age people up and age people down. So, you know, I mean, as long as he has the physical physique, I'm sure they can do some prosthetics or whatever they need to do to sort of age him downward to make sure he looks young and, and uh, you know, so – but yeah, I mean, I, I you know, I, I think what he was saying is was really spot on. There's a difference between doing an impersonation of someone, you know, and and then actually playing that character, the character of them. And so I think that, you know, you can see how much of a, you know, you can see the big difference what he did with just sort of the comical, hey, I'm Mike Tyson, blah, blah, blah. And then when he dialed it way back to just playing, you know, to just sort of trying to do Mike. So I'm looking forward to it. I think it's going to be 
I think it's going to be good. I mean, I remember him talking about this biopic a long time ago, so it's going to be exciting to see it finally come about. Yeah, man, I'm I'm, I'm happy he's doing it, and I would like to see more of Jamie Foxx in Hollywood because I went to see the man in concert when he did Ray, and Homeboy came out there, did an hour of jokes that was all funny. Then the next thing you know, he goes to the back, comes out in a white limousine dressed up, playing Ray on the piano. And not to mention, I forgot to tell y'all, the brother can sing too. Yeah. Um, I, I mean, just just blessed with immense talent. And I think that sometimes we tend to forget just how talented this brother really is. It's, he's a good dude, man. Real good dude. Yeah, it's it's funny because you know when I was reading I was reading some stuff about him a while back, and he was saying that he only got into acting as a way of uh, of of being able to sing. He he really when he came up, he wanted to be a singer. Or when he got in, he wanted to be a singer, and then he got into he got into comedy and acting because he wanted to to be able to put himself in a position to sing. And so it's kind of funny that that he was just so good at at you know, at, at comedy and acting that he can still sing obviously, but you know, that may be his first love, but he's apparently quite good at all the other stuff. Um, Mm -hmm. I would actually love to see him go and, and perform on Broadway and, and hopefully win a a Tony because then he would be one of those, what do they call him? An EGOT? EGOT? Yeah, man. The, the, yeah, I guess the EGOT, a, a, a Grammy, Oscar and a Tony. Oh no, he'd he'd have to win it. I don't know if he has an Emmy. He'd have to get the the Grammy. He, he's, Oscar, he's got an Emmy. Tony. He he got an Emmy for that um Jamie Foxx show. Okay, then yeah, then he would be. I guess he'd be an E guy if he got because it'd be yeah. I guess it'd be the Emmy, the Grammy, Oscar, and the Tony. He just needs a Tony, so he already has all the others. So yeah, that'd be kind of cool. Yeah, man. So you guys post your comments if you think Jamie Foxx is going to play a good Mike Tyson. And would you like to see him more 